Well, Michelle Platini has been dragged in to uh, this crisis uh, surrounding FIFA and its leadership. He, of course, was questioned uh, just a couple of weeks ago by the office of the Swiss Attorney General. Uh, the Swiss authorities say he is someone, somewhere between being a witness and a suspect over a criminal inquiry that was opened against FIFA's president, Seth Blatter. It all revolves around a, a payment that they describe as being disloyal uh, to FIFA. So Michel Platini uh, was, was entered into this through that. He has been uh, the subject then of, of FIFA's internal ethics uh, investigation. That committee has ruled uh, in the last few minutes that uh, he should be uh, banned, as they say, for 90 days uh, from football. Sepp Blatter as well, FIFA's president, he too has, has received a, a similar sanction, 90-day uh, suspension. Uh, and now, of course, there is that, that question over FIFA's leadership. The deadline for applications to be uh, a candidate in the FIFA election is coming up on October the 26th. Michel Platini saying just a few minutes before the, conf the, the suspension was confirmed that he has submitted an application to be FIFA president. He clearly feels uh, that he is, uh, has got a, f a fight on his hands. He wants to, to be FIFA president. He's not prepared to accept this. So, um, so it, is, it is, you know, anyone's guess right now how the story will progress. It has been a summer of, of tumult uh, for, for FIFA and for uh, its leadership. And now, of course, we know that you know, he's passed and said Blatter. He was due to step down in February. Uh, he has now been suspended for that 90-day period. But many people who saw Michel Platini as FIFA's future, well, he now, too, has a problem on his hands, uh, with many perhaps suggesting that he cannot take over once Sepp Blatter departs. Yeah, they and uh, other FIFA officials uh, now uh, have been investigated for various allegations of corruption. Both men deny any wrongdoing, but uh, there'll be a lot of football fans very concerned now about being able to move on with football and, and move on from uh, this, this corruption allegations. Uh, Sepp Blatter... Uh, replacement was very much seen as being Michel Platini. He's been very critical of Sepp Blatter not standing down straight away when allegations of corruption first emerged. Uh, and of course, he has now come out saying that he feels his reputation uh, is being attacked even with a leak of this suspension coming out. Yeah, this is, this is we're now into that, this sort of territory, an independent ethics committee uh, which, uh, of course, a lot of faith and trust was put into, was being attacked by Michel Platini. He says his uh, integrity has been attacked, that it was uh, an insidious leak uh, last night, which, uh, which said he would be uh, banned for 90 days. Um, he's attacked that. So now we, we're calling, he's now calling for an inquiry, an independent inquiry, into a so-called independent uh, ethics committee. This is the level that FIFA has now descended to, whereby it is, uh, it is fighting amongst itself, fighting amongst its leadership and fighting amongst the committees. And amongst all that, uh, in this statement that we've just had, Dr Chung Wong Jun, a former FIFA official, uh, he has been banned for six years for ethics breaches uh, and fined uh, 100,000 Swiss francs. Uh, he, earlier this week, came out on the attack and said that, yes, I am under investigation and this is an attempt to smear me. He, of course, wants to be FIFA president as well. He is uh, hoping to take over from Sepp Blatter. Those hopes now lie in tatters. He feels that it is an attempt of sabotage by Sepp Blatter and by FIFA to stop him from running. Uh, it is an extreme mess that FIFA has got itself into. It started back on May 27th when the US and Swiss authorities launched those dawn raids here in Zurich, arrested a number of FIFA officials. It has continued on over the months uh, to a situation now where not only is the organization itself in crisis, but its, its leadership is too.